What's going on guys? This is Bootram playing Boom Beach. So welcome to another video where I'm gonna be taking down Dr. Terror. And I'm gonna be using all warriors to blast him down. That is because I want to give myself a challenge not using any heavies taking down Dr. Terror. It's definitely easier to take down Terror with seven boats of warriors and one boat of heavies. And that's the reason. The reason for that is actually that she can relocate the rocket launchers and the shock launchers damage over to the heavy. But on the warrior, you're basically going to be meeting rocket launchers and shock launchers. So let's rock and roll. Uh, usually, I'm just taking down Dr. Terror Stage 1 to 5 with only barrages and artillery shells. Let's see how far we can get with the only gunboat energy, guys. So, okay, two stages is down. And we got like 18 more stages before we're done with the Dr. Terror event. Because the max event on the Dr. Terror or stages is 1 to 20. That means it's 20 stages and we're gonna be cruising our way up there to turn stage 20 so dropping down gunboat energy or energy upon the HQ and that's just either guys I couldn't take down the doctor turn stage 3 with the only gunboat energy uh, barrages and tuna shells so I'm dropping out my warriors to take out the objects at the start and I'm definitely gonna be shocking that boom cannon because the boom cannon will basically one shot my warriors if I don't cover them up with shock bombs and when you're playing boom beach it's all it's all about actually preserving your warriors when you're using warriors or troops at all it's all about preserving because if you lose one unit that means you need to train them up you need to use some uh, resources and you definitely need to use some diamonds if you like to speed up your troops so terror stage 3 just went down and we're gonna be jumping over to terror stage 4 let's see what we meet here so I'm, I'm gonna be trying to um dropping out my warriors I'm not gonna be tossing all of my energy on that HQ and the reason for that I couldn't take down the terror stage 3 with the only barrages of tumor shells so I'm dropping out my warriors and those warriors got that crystal hammer they're ready to smack that HQ and we're basically working ourselves way up there and my warriors are spreading out what are you guys doing so I'm using flare to redirect my warrior over to the HQ and down it goes the terror stage 4 just went boom guys so I, I do feel like like, Terror Stage 1 to 10 is definitely easy. I've been telling that on the uh, the past Dr. Terrors. Uh, the Stage 1 to 10 is complete easy for me. If you're maxed up on Warriors, if your boats are maxed up and you got tons of good statues, it would definitely be an easy fight for your Warriors from Terror Stage 1 to 10. So let's see what kind of power we do meet on the Terror Stage 5. And I'm going to be flaring myself up to the Flame Trawler. And the reason for that is because I want to, I'm actually want to assembly my warriors to one uh, location so they stack up together. Because you, uh, because you drop if you drop the warriors, spread it out. They're definitely gonna be spreading out if you don't use flare. And if you drop out the warriors uh, on the same spot in the beach, and you basically flare straight ahead up to the HQ, your warriors will basically split up, and they will and they will get hurt, guys. They will get hurt. They will be tossed. They will be tossing like, uh, they will be eating like fishes from the skies, guys. The, the fishes from the rocket launchers is definitely going to be hurting the warrior. So, we're going to jump in over to the terror stage 6. And we do have a shock launcher down there, but I do not think it's going to be a threat. So, I'm flaring myself up to the free object on the right side. I'm covering up my warriors with smoke screen. Because I want to preserve my warriors as much as I can, guys. So, flame to the next tower or the next building is going to be the sniper tower. And from the sniper tower, I'm going to be flaming over to the HQ and I'm going to do the run, guys. I'm going to be doing the run. I'm going to be letting them jump out of the smoke and tossing a med kit. And basically, nothing else is hurting me. My warriors are just having great fun, guys. Definitely some great, great fun. Fun. So okay, let's see what what kind of power the Terror Stage Seven will bring us. Will it be fishes? Will it be monkeys? I'm gonna be giving them a beast, guys. I'm gonna be giving my warriors a beast. So okay, where's the HQ? There's the HQ. We have some boom mines surrounding the HQ. I'm gonna be clearing those boom mines, dropping out the warriors, and check out those warriors. They are actually swarming the whole beach, and I'm using smoke screen to cover up my warriors. And okay, we're gonna be heading over to the HQ. Let's Let's head over to the HQ, flaring up to the HQ, smoke screening myself, and there we go. We have the warriors in a perfect 
the perfect location right now. So okay, it's time to hand dang the HQ. Uh, the smoke screen is wearing off pretty soon. I'm gonna be shocking to the boom cannons and the shock launcher, the boom cannon, the right side, and let's get some hooga booga power on it while I'm tossing a true shells. And there we go. We pretty much smacked down this HQ with warriors. So third stage seven was super super easy. I didn't lose any warriors here at all. So we're just gonna be cruising our way up to the third stage eight guys. Okay, let's see what third stage eight have a. Um have for us today so okay the HQ is far behind there I'm gonna be dropping out my warriors in the right side I'm gonna be actually taking down the free objects that I can on the right side um the reason for that is because uh, you're actually hurting the HQ when you're taking down free objects and you also definitely get gunboat energy and gunboat energy is really really necessary uh perk for the warriors when you're using the warriors you need a lot of gunboat energy because you need the shock launch you need some med kits you need to use smoke screen you need to use a lot of gunboat energy using flare so yeah you need a lot of gunboat energy when you're gonna be rocking down dr terror so okay let's head over to the hq and what am i doing i'm using flare back to the boom cannon that was a wrong wrong button guys so we're flaring back again to the hq this is what i love with dr terror you can definitely you can definitely get screwed by using a uh, uh, wrong perk so i used flare back to the boom cannon i actually flared over to the HQ and then I flare back to the boom cannon what is going on with my mind guys it doesn't matter I took down third stage 8 we're gonna be having some fun and we lost absolutely four warriors so no problem at all we're gonna be instant finishing the warriors and let's rock and roll we're gonna be jumping over to terror stage 9 so what do terror stage 9 have for us today okay so I'm gonna be dropping down my warriors to the right spot of the beach flaring myself up to the mortar and I'm gonna be waiting before the warrior runs over to the HQ let them let them stack up on that mortar and there we go we got some boom mines I'm gonna be cleaning those boom mines and it's time to run over the rocket launcher remember guys when using this kind of a troop have your smoke screen perfectly placed you cannot miss on your smoke screen because your warriors will definitely get hurt so shocking the boom cannon rocket launcher in the mortar on the right side and the left side and we're just smacking the HQ check this out this is raw power guys this is absolutely raw power and I'm talking Talking about the beastly power I have my warrior boosted up right now and they're super strong they get tons of health they get tons of damage and I got tons of gunboat energy guys so okay we took down this stage and the uh, resources or the bonuses or the, 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 the win the, the loot winning is starting to get good here so okay terror stage 10 is starting to get intense here so I'm gonna be taking out the boom cannons that is or the boom mines that is really really important when you're using the, the warriors because when the warrior are stepping on the boom mines together you're actually losing f far more than one warrior and that is like critical guys because you need all of the power that the warrior can give you so okay relocating my warrior on the sniper tower tossing a med kit upon the sniper tower and I'm gonna be moving over to the HQ from this position let's do some great smoke screen and of course I got burnt but it doesn't matter my warriors got tons of HP but if you don't have your warriors boosted up it's definitely gonna be a challenge because your warriors HP will definitely get lower um, your damage is gonna be get, getting lower and same with the gunboat energy there's tons of stuff you cannot do if you don't have gunboat energy it's gonna be so much easier for your life if you do have gunboat energy so third stage 10 just went down guys yeah rock and roll oh wow I'm almost losing my breath here guys okay whoa Super hyped guys, super hyped, oof, 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 okay, it's time to run to the third stage 11, we're gonna be building up another bulk of warriors, 8 boats of warriors guys, maxed up landing craft, and I can carry about like 64 warriors, that is amazing, that is cool, that is fantastic, that is power, so okay, let's head over to the flamethrower, I'm just gonna be clearing the boom mine that, uh, that was surrounding the flamethrower, it's time to take out the warriors, and I'm gonna be relocating my warriors, or flaring my warriors up to the sniper tower, that is close to the beach and once again I'm say I'm saying it one more time the reason why you should be flaring at the start of the beach is to uh, relocate or, or stack up your warriors so they don't spread spread out and it's easier to handle the warriors when you're actually having them in a bulk together so okay let's do some shocking shocking the flamethrower rocket launcher machine gun mortar everything is getting shocked here I'm smacking and booging down the HQ and down it goes it is easy for me 
guys. Level 51 terror stage 11 just went down and I barely lost troops on this attack. I really do wonder what terror stage 19 and 20 is going to be giving me today. And the lovely thing with terror stage 19 and 20 is the crystals because you're getting 100% chance on the drop on crystal. And that is really, really great because that is what I really need right now. Uh, I'm doing a, a, a quest to top series and that means I need a lot of power powders to boost up my eye statue so my base can be uh, defending itself against high level players. So, okay, terror stage 12 and I'm going to be dropping my warriors on the left side of the beach. I'm going to be relocating my warriors on the machine gun. I got shocked but it doesn't really matter. Covering up myself with two smoke screens here. So, okay, where should I be running? I should be running to the machine gun and I'm covering up my warriors again with smoke screen and there we go. They are actually running and they are not getting hurt guys that is perfect smoke screen smoke screen okay let's head over to the hq so i'm using smoke screen and flare and over to the hq that was like a meter forward and i used like a lot of gunboat energy so it's time to shock and what should i shock i definitely should shock the shock launcher and the boom cannon and i'm gonna be tossing a med kit upon the hq so i heal basically all of my warriors and there we go terror stage 12 just went down it's like three smacks two to three smacks max and the doctor terror is down guys he cannot survive and there we go we got the crystal there first crystal drop down on terror stage 12 let's see what kind of luck we get on the other stages of doctor terror so okay uh where's the hq where's the hq okay i'm gonna be actually uh running from the right side of the beach i'm clearing uh the boom mines uh, that is uh, distracting my path. So I'm moving over to the sniper tower. Moving over to the sniper tower, guys. The warriors are eating rocket and fishes from the rocket launcher there. Come on, hide in the smoke screen. You guys are ninjas. You guys are fast. You guys are awesome. So, okay, let's head over to the HQ. We are doing the run, run forest, run forest. We're covering up the warriors, and the warriors are on the HQ right now. They are super sneaky, sneaky peeky, guys. Okay, so let's rock and roll. I'm gonna be shocking. Hmm, the left side of the HQ is definitely gonna get shocked. The boom cannon, the mortars, and I'm also gonna be shocking the right side, and I'm also gonna be shocking the south side of the base. And there we go, three smacks on that HQ, and I just smacked the banana danky that guy. So, okay, third stage 13 just went down. We got like, hmm, how many stages do you have left? We have like seven stages more, or six stages more. So, it's gonna be definitely awesome, and it's gonna be getting close to the end, guys. So, okay. Whoa, I'm almost losing my bread. I su I feel so super hyped today, guys. I got tons of energy as usual. I've been drinking like only three Red Bulls this morning. When I wake up, I drink Red Bull. When I eat breakfast, I drink Red Bull. And before I make a video, I drink Red Bull. So I definitely have tons of energy. But I do not know if that is healthy, guys, to drink a lot of Red Bull. It doesn't matter. It gives me power. It gives me, it gives me stamina and... Uh, yeah, precision. So, okay. The warriors are hiding in the smoke screen right now. And nothing else uh, is harming me. We're going to be heading over to the other sniper tower. I'm going to be running slowly. And all my daggers of the Daniel Barry, the machine gun and the flamethrower and the rocket launcher is damaging my warriors. And I'm going to be stepping over to the HQ right now. Let's see what happens here. Okay, so... The question here is, what should I be shocking? You, <coughs> whoa! What should I be shocking? What should I be shocking? I'm gonna definitely gonna be shocking the shock launcher. That is priority number one when you're using the warriors. Shock the shock launcher, because when the shock launcher is shocking your warriors, it's gonna be no damage at all. They're gonna be stopping your warriors, and the other defensive buildings are gonna be taking down the warriors. So definitely shock the shock launcher when you're using warriors. Keep an eye on the shock launchers, because those are deadly, yo. So I lost like three warriors and. This run, we're gonna be attacking once again. But first, we're gonna be instant finishing those warriors with six diamonds. Let's head over to third stage five, 15. Five? What am I talking about, guys? What am I talking about? Okay, so I'm dropping down my warriors on the right side of the beach. I'm gonna be smoke screening myself to cover up my warriors, and there we go. Perfect, almost perfect. That was not perfect, but it's almost perfect. <laughs> okay, so it's time to head over to the HQ or not. I'm gonna be heading over to the rocket launcher. I'm moving slowly to the HQ, and I'm but what I mean, what I mean, what I mean, whoa, 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 I'm what I'm meaning slowly. I'm actually meaning like not flare up to the HQ right away. So, yeah, okay, so we're on the HQ right now, and there's a 
lot of defensive buildings right now that is dangerous for my warriors. So I'm going to be shocking the left side of the base, the south side, the right side. I got like 54 gunboat energy. I think it's going to be enough to shock the left and the right side. And there we go. The warriors are ready to smack down Donkey Power of the Donkey Kong. There we go. We took down Terror Stage 15, guys. Terror Stage 15 just went down. And the HP on the Terror Stage, Terror Stage 15, it's not too much. It's easy to smack. So, yeah. The big, the big, the big challenge is going to be like Terror Stage 19 and 20. That's going to be the big challenge. So, okay. Let's head over to the map and let's head over to my base and instant finishes troops and let's jump in. Okay, Terror Stage 16. We're ready to rumble. So we're going to be taking out the boom mine and the mine on the right side. Dropping out the warriors on the right side. We're flaring ourselves up to the right side. I'm, I'm getting shocked. What, what's going on with that, guys? What's going on with that? The shock launch is shocking my warriors. No problem at all. Like a banana. There's a boom mine there. I'm going to be cleaning out the boom mine. Flaring over to the HQ. Doing the run right now. Forest Gump and Forest Run home run of the baseball smack so okay i'm gonna be shocking definitely that shock launcher on the south side of the base so let's go ahead and throw that shock right now shocking like boom and shocking the left side shock launcher on the hq and we're doing the ham banana banging and there we go we're banging and smacking and slashing and boom blasting that hq it's going down like a banana monkey guys it went down third stage 16 just went down so we got like three more stages and then we're down with the dr terry it's always lovely to wreck Dr. Turk because it's super fun. You're getting tons of uh, crystals and those dark crystals are always awesome to open because you always wonder will I get the statue that gives me gunboat energy and I I wish that I will get the uh, the gunboat energy percentage 42% but it's really really hard but once or in the future, I hope I can get it. So, it's time to head over to the... I'm going to be flaring myself into the mortar there. And there's three boom mines there that can be really dangerous. So, I'm going to be tossing uh, more artillery shells in those boom mines. There we go. And I'm stepping on those mines. Mines are not too dangerous. But if you step on too many mines, that's going to be really dangerous. So, okay. We're stepping and heading over to the HQ. The warriors are surrounding the HQ like military, guys. They're surrounding the HQ. The, the HQ is going to be ready to do taste some pain. I'm shocking the defensive buildings right now. Smacking down Terror Stage 17, level 60. And I'm smacking him pretty much four or five times. And I took him down like a banana fly, guys. Like a fishy guacamole. So, okay. Okay, fishy guacamole. Whoa, I'm... Oh, man. I really do wonder if I'm going to be losing my voice in the future. I might lose it. I'm, I'm not sure, guys. But I'm definitely going to be losing it when I turn 30, guys. <laughs> when I turn 30. That's going to be really, really, uh, uh, really hard. But, yeah, it's many more years. Or it's, it's far more, uh, far more uh, many years uh, before I turn to eight, 30. That's going to be dangerous, yo. That's going to be dangerous. So, okay. Heading over to the cannon. And I'm stepping on some mines. And we're heading straight straight forward to the HQ and check it out guys check it out I'm actually taking a lot of damage from the rocket launcher but they cannot hurt my warriors really they got tons of HP I boosted up my statues with troop health no problem at all let's do some shocking let's dance and baby burn let's take down this HQ right now smacking the HQ and as you see there guys the HQ got tons of HP right now I smacked it like six or seven times before I could take it down third stage 18 just went down so we got like two more stages and that is 19 and 20 those are the hardest stages on the doctor turn event let's see what kind of fun we can have with Dr. Terror Stage 19 and 20. Okay, so we're just going to be instant finishing the Warriors and let's jump into the Terror Stage 19. What do we have here? Okay, the um, HQ is far behind there and there's only boom mine surrounding surrounding the whole map here okay let's let's take out the warriors and let's have some fun okay flare myself up on the machine gun using smoke screen to cover up my warriors and all my dangers of the dangle berry i've lost warriors already i need to be more careful when i'm when i'm taking out the warriors so okay, heading over to the machine gun the second machine gun and absolutely taking damage from those flamethrowers and pretty much everything i'm taking tons of damage i'm gonna be heading over to the hq right now let's see what happens Okay, we have like okay, we still have like a lot of warriors. It should be possible, it should be doable to take down Terror Stage 19 with this amount of warriors because they are boosted up and they're definitely strong. So let's blast it down like fishes, guys. So we're, we're talking about like many smacks now before I take down the HQ. It can handle a lot of damage and i'm smacking it like a holy power guys and there we go third stage 19 just went down. It was like a fishy guacamole, guys. You guys 
you guys are the actually you are my motivation guys i just want to say that oh my daggers of the dagger butter two crystals from that terror stage 19 perfect so that means i basically looted like three crystals already and when we jump over the terror stage 20 and take it down we're gonna be getting guaranteed two crystals more or three it might be three but it's guaranteed two crystals on the terror stage 20 so okay what should we do here hmm we got like boom mines there Okay, let's drop out the warriors. Let's take out the warriors and we're gonna be flaring ourselves up to the machine gun, covering up the warriors with smoke screen. Um, we basically just went through like 20 stages of Dr. Terror right now, and you definitely see how the tactic works. Be precise on the smoke screen, be be sure that you have en enough gunboat energy. You need to plan it, you need to have gun enough gunboat energy and strong enough warriors. So, okay, my warriors are getting ready to smack that HQ, they're surrounding the HQ right now and I'm pretty much ready to smack it down let's rock and roll we're gonna be shocking the shock launcher and we're gonna be shocking the right side of the base and there we go we're smacking the base right now four smacks five six there's tons of HP on this base I really hope I can do it guys I'm not sure if it's not it's gonna be gonna be enough power I'm dropping really fast down on warriors but there we go we took down dr. Terry stage 20 without any problems at all and we just had a great 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 time working on dr terror and i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and remember to leave those like and comment down below the video i'm gonna be very very soon or probably today or tomorrow i'm gonna be dropping out another series or episode of quest to top i know you guys love it anyways see you guys later and goodbye boom